What's up, ladies and gents? I'm just trying to fridge burger burger. Send us train one year host, and we are back. And we have got more awesome sauce, Mass Effect, and drama. And man, this game is getting a lot of hate, but it's really fun to play. I, I just don't understand some people sometimes. I think people just like to, to get a, across the bandwagon and stuff, but I'm having a blast playing it. I feel immersed and I'm enjoying my time with it, and that is what matters. Are you going to enjoy it? Can you get past the things that everyone is kind of saying about this game? Does it really, really bother you, or are you just trying to be a part of something because it's there? So make sure that when you get this game, that get it for the reasons you want to get it and not for what other people are saying about it necessarily. If it looks like a game that you're going to enjoy, then by all means, man, have fun. All right. So Liam still has one point, but there was, yeah, no reason to actually get it inventory-wise. So I've already been past all of this because I did that live stream. So I'm kind of looking here. Throughout the world. I don't know why they say world. This is a universe. We're not going to one world. <laughs> I digress. Um, there's really nothing else we can do here. As you'll see, there's really... That looks like we can go on someplace else, so... Let's see where else it takes us. I am now using my GTX 1080 Ti, and I am running this right now. I don't know if you guys can see it. I've got the frames per second on my screen, but it might not show up in the video. I am... Looks like that's exactly where we're going. I am running this in 60 frames a second, and it is beautiful. Alright, so with that being said, it is finally time to get out of here, and uh, let's go to the docking bay. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. 
It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really gonna be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and look around. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. I love the lighting in this. Oh, it looks so good. <clears throat> But of course, we're going to take a look at every... The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. We're going to search around for everything. Um, there is a limit to this trial, so uh, I want to not necessarily drag it out, but I want to be as thorough as possible. This whole game is going to be as thorough as possible. So it's going to be a long one. We're in for a long journey. But... Um, I love an adventure. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen, keep any specimen safe. Some serious kit over here. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Pathfinder, check this toy. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones, like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down and give you options. We're on our own, for everybody else. That's what Pathfinder means now. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. All right, so we got research. This is how we can unlock different weapons. We got research and we got development. So we'll start with research. Now this is uh, divided by different technologies, Milky Way technology, Helios technology, which is the technology that we discover in this galaxy, and then an unknown as of right now, so. But, um, you can research it. So let's say if you wanted to get uh, the Cyclone Assault Rifle, you can click on it. And you can start seeing what you need in order to research it. We have no research data right now, so it requires level 5, which would require this. And you can look at the details of it, and it says that we need beryllium and 
vanadium, which is something we're going to get on the planet that we're going to. So kind of works out for us. I tried to turn down my volume a little bit, so hopefully I'm not overpowering you. Um, I have a problem with that as I play with headphones on, and it's hard for me to gauge how loud my volume is. And I record the gameplay and the voice on one track, which I know a lot of people don't do that. But I use XSplit Gamecaster to edit the videos. As long as they're under 10 gigabytes, you can take a 4K video, as long as it's under 10 gigabytes, and edit it without taking, without having to go through a, a big editor like Premiere Pro. And it's super fast. It's like immediately that your video will be available. There is no like rendering time or anything like that. So I can literally make this video and have it out to you in an hour after recording. So I always try to keep my videos under 30 minutes or about 40 minutes or so if it's in 4K. And then I can just edit them together as long as each video is not above 10 gigabytes, which most of the time about 40 minutes in 4K is about 8 gigabytes. So those are just some weapons you can do. There's nothing we can really get into right now. Um, yeah, because we don't have any points. But we do have 240 Helios ones, so... It's pretty cool. You got these uh, kind of like knives or whatever you want to call them, but you need a lot of stuff. So right now we're not worried about going into research, but we can check out development. You can learn more about the materials required to craft each. And that's how you know what you need, what you have, and you can see that clearly that we have enough to get the Avenger assault rifle. So we could craft it, and then boom. Now you can also use this to compare. So you can compare it to what you have right now, because we have the M3 Predator, which is our pistol. And the M8 Avenger, which is pretty much this weapon here. So, as you can see, it's, that's why it's the same. If you do that, you can see the red because it's a pistol. And if you do that, it's the same exact weapon and there's no change. Now, I, as far as my pistol goes, I, I got a pretty good pistol right now. Because if I compare it to the Predator, yes, the damage goes up a lot. But your rate of fire goes down. Your max clip size goes down, so you'll be reloading a lot. Um, and I don't, I don't know if that's really worth it as of right now. But we are going to be upgrading eventually. That's almost down on everything. And of course we got this sniper rifle, but we already have a sniper rifle that we can equip eventually. It's uh, waiting for us, so... You can see you've got different Omni Blades, but we have different stuff that you can get. So there's nothing that we really, 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 really need to do right now. Pathfinder Helmets. We're pretty much good to go with this one. We just need Titanium. Alright, so I've showed you a little bit of that, so you guys can kind of get an idea of uh, some of the things you're going to need in order to upgrade specific items, which we will get into a lot later. We got strike team missions. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candrus for authorization to participate. On the Nexus or via the Tempest VidCon. So let's find out what this first strike is. Hello again, Ryder. Taking an interest in my strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex. Combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck. Kandros out. All right, so now we can actually look at our strike team missions and find out exactly what they are. Hey. Select to complete in multiplayer or to assign to a strike team. So I guess you can do these in multiplayer as well. 
Strike teams can be sent on missions to support the Andromeda Initiative. If they succeed, they'll earn XP, and Rider will gain a reward. If they fail, they're earning only a small amount of XP and no special reward. Apex is the most elite strike team in the cluster and handles critical missions. Select the missions and press A to send them. It automatically saved before multiplayer is launched. You will then play the role of an Apex operative in a small squad. Um, play Apex missions in multiplayer, either with friends or through public matchmaking to earn strike team rewards for rider and additional bonuses. There's your rewards. This is your current list of recruitments. Recruited strike team, select a team with A to equip them with special gear. Retire a team. The more you have, the more missions you can do. You can view their traits. Tactician plus five to effectiveness. And a recruit team. Costs 40 mission funds, and right now we have 40. So as you can see, requires team five. So there's not really anything that we can do. So just kind of giving you a little insight into, I guess, how it works. We've got a few that are available right now. And they expire too, so that's interesting. So let's see what happens. Let's see. All right, so you can send a strike team or you can play a multiplayer. Let's send a strike team. Only a 5% chance of success. So obviously that's not something that you would probably want to do. And it'll take four hours to do. That's a 74%, so that's definitely a little bit better. So why don't we do that one? Let's make sure we do this right. Send a strike team. Start a mission. All right. So in three hours and so, they're going to be finishing strike that up. Ready for deployment. All right. What do we got here? Buy and sell kiosk and the research center. Okay, so here's our items. I guess that we can buy and sell. We got like an Omni Blade. We got a total of 100 credits, so we don't have a lot of stuff just yet. Weapons, armor. See, they really don't have anything there. Pistol wise, all they have is the M5, which isn't, if you compare, like I said, not good for us for right now. But. Buy and sell items. You guys get the deal. I'm guessing that'll open up in a little bit. So we're going to explore this whole area. Talk to everybody that we can. We're almost out there. Hello. Finally. I've just got to finish this download from the Nexus. We'll be ready for launch. So obviously you're going to be able to talk to them probably better, but for right now, obviously, you're supposed to be going on to your mission, so they don't have any, really any meaningful conversations yet. Hi there. Can we talk and stuff later? I've got some last-minute adjustments. She'll be ready to go when you are. So we can take this lift or you got the uh, ladders in the back. This is where our, what is it, uh, nom Nomad or, yeah, Nomad or, it's not the Mako, it's the Nomad, right? <laughs> I always get confused. Securing cargo and checking everything made it on board. The bridge report's ready. Weapons. Trade goods. This is probably where we're going to eventually be able to customize our, our uh, Nomad a little bit, I guess. Rider. Finalizing orders, flight plan, command access. 
Ready when you are. <laughs> like how we can scan a couch. It'd be cool if, like, we can actually sit on the couch and watch, like, a program or something. Rider. So, this is probably where, um... Where we would leave in the Nomad. All right, crew quarters. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. And you can kind of see what they were up to. Kitchen. And I believe this is the med bay. Hello, Ryder. Excuse me. I need to make sure we have everyone's medical files from the Nexus. Come by after launch. And we can catch up properly. All right. This is our quarters. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there, too. This is where you can get to your clothing and armor customization, just like in all the other Mass Effect games where you can change what it is you're wearing when you're when you're here and when you're uh, out out there. So, see, I like that the best. I think. And you can customize the colors. Uh, we are going to go with a different pattern. I really like the... Yeah, that one. Since we're heading to a planet that is mostly sun-based and very deserty. We're going to go with a lighter color, just like I did in, oops, just like I did in, um, in the female version when I played that. All right. So I think that's saved, hopefully. Sweet. And there we go. Alright, let's see if there's anything else to scan in here at all. Obviously, there's going to be something that we'll be able to mess with here maybe a little bit later. There's Sam. Special delivery. So, we got a Nomad paint job. And, an, alright. Our emails, interviews... Ooh, so that probably just end, uh, opened up some type of uh, mission there. Verifying my connection from Hyperion to the Tempest. The Nexus confirms we're free to depart. Alright, so if we actually go back into our journal here, we probably can see that we... Path of a hero.
That's so weird. It says we need to to go lower. My guess is we're not going to be able to leave as of right now. Because this is where we would need to enter to leave. So we probably can't do the Nexus right now. Or probably can't go back to the Nexus right now. Because right here, as you can see, is where we would need to be able to exit. So that mission will be complete, I guess, the next time we come to this area. And that's pretty much it for that, so let's head on. Trust me, we're going to be doing all those missions. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jav. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes, I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Alright, so it is time for a better beginning. Now that we've got that out of the way, kind of an uh, introduction into there. So, this is where we are if we zoom in. We're in the Helios cluster, so we've got like this... A bunch of different locations that we can go to, different systems. And we're going to kind of travel around a little bit, just look around and see what we can find. There's no reason to rushing into there just yet. So let's say we go here first, and uh, let's start our journey. as the Nexus surveyors could get before, well... Let's see what's waiting here. As you can see, I'm everything is... Something. Anomaly's been detected. Use LSY holding LT to scan. Deploy 
find probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. That's <laughs> so, so cool how it does that. But we just picked up some aluminum, but you also see that there's literally nothing else. So you only pick up one thing. So I'm not really sure why it even lets you um, move around the asteroids and stuff. Because as far as I can tell, you can't pick up anything else on this asteroid just that so let's go back out and do we have anything else nope let's head to some of the planets here and find out One of the many reasons that we love space games, just because of this right here. It's great. So the question is, because before in Mass Effect 2 and 3, you would search the planet, you'd get closer to a signal, but we probably don't have a, a proper scanner yet, I'm, I'm guessing. But as I can tell, there's nothing here. So we'll keep going. Surface temperature, geesh, 152. That's because it is pretty close. You can, was that some lightning there? Maybe? Yeah, you can see some lightning and storms and stuff like that. But I'm sure we'll be able to get and in, dive into this a lot more once we explore the whole thing. As you can see, we're already 42% now. So let's go to this bad boy. That one's uh, pretty close to the sun there. And now we just got to 57%. So once you actually scan the planet this is a nice one 82 degrees celsius it looks ice but 82 celsius is still pretty high temperatures 20 degrees celsius is about 70 degrees right or 70 degrees fahrenheit if you're american highly toxic I'm guessing we are the ship, and this is how we travel. Because you see those two things at the top of the screen? Whoa, look at the way that that looks when you get to that black hole there.
117 degrees Celsius. Man, I love the detail. All right, that means uh, should we have one planet left to explore here? So we've only got to 85% in this area. So there's still some other stuff, I guess, that we can't really get to. Negative. This is a very, very cold planet. So if we go back out, as you can see, what is this out here? Should we go towards the black hole? I guess maybe that's the last thing it wants us to search. Let's see what happens. Are we really going to travel to this black hole? Or did I just kill us? So we've got a black hole. Even at this distance, the black hole presents a risk to the ship's systems. Acceleration disk around it is uh, composed of the remains of at least one solar system destroyed by the black hole's formation and gravitational pull. Caution is advised. But it says we have discovered everything to discover. So let's head out to the next one here. We can zoom in. Again, we're taking our time because by the time that the game actually releases and I have a full copy of it, I want all the videos to kind of flow. So we're getting as much out of this um, time trial that we can. So this is where the human arc first entered Helios. Heck of a wake up call. All right, so this is where we started. I guess we'll start from the outside. I see two planets there. So it looks like this is the moon, maybe? Negative 201 Celsius. Frozen world with a surface composed mostly of silica with deposits of cobalt. Cobalt. So I wonder why we can't maybe scan that other one there. Let's. Island, that's probably Habitat 7. So let's cut to this one first. Up something. Nice. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Nice. 
Again, that's very, very simplistic as far as how that works. And at this point, you can't even move out of it, so that's the only thing you can do now. Like, you can't... Gonna go back into Planet View. But I guess they automatically find it. You don't have to... Because before, I believe, in Mass Effect 2, you had to, like, buy buy probes and all that kind of stuff. And that was, like, a, a whole meta game, you know? Okay, so we got some XP out of that. A crater caused by the impact of heavy debris, possibly from the scourge. The meteorite still contain valuable resources. Now, there must be a lot if we're only at 60%, but we only have one location left. Detected. 17 degrees Celsius, that's why it was the closest to, um, oh, look at that. That is so cool. It is right above the planet. Probes launched. Satellite detected. Oh. 50 Milky Way, nice. Oh, that would have been so cool if we could just, like, land on this satellite. Okay, so wait a second. A standard monitoring satellite. Its registration shows it was deployed accidentally from the Hyperion during its collision with the Scourge. So this is something that we deployed. Interesting. Cool beans, 100%. There you go. Let's go back out to system view. It looks like we are finally making our way to Pythias, which is Eos, the planet we're going to. I do like how it takes you from where you are and it g gets you there, you know? A little bit different than the other Mass Effect games. A lot more detail. I do miss kind of controlling my ship, uh, that System. little tiny Eos. ship. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Well, we don't listen to you, Sam. Remember, we're in charge. But we do have it nominally. Probes launched. Okay, we got an asteroid. Mineral deposit. First off, we'll start from the outside, I guess. Kind of work our way in. Okay, that seems to be about it. You guys can take a look at the analysis. It's a gas giant, so 
obviously it's not something that you're going to be able to land on or partake in any fun adventures we're going to go all the way over here just because I like going from one side to the other I want to see how it flows through everything So I know a lot of people may get bored by this, but me, not a chance. This is, to me, just so fun. Plus, you need this stuff to be able to research all the things. We'll leave uh, Eos for the end, and then in the next video, we'll actually travel to the planet, and then we'll start our adventure on the planet. A satellite of some sort. Probes launched. Satellite detected. Scientific monitor launched by early explorers to EOS. Its mission was abandoned when the original settlement of EOS failed, but it has gathered valuable data. Well, that must be all there's going to be because we're already at 50%. So it's probably just each planet now is going to be uh, nothing else to discover. This is, I, I just love this, man. Space exploration is something that is just, as a kid, man, growing up and, you know, watching all of the Apollo missions and the Gemini and the Mercury missions. Ah. Uh, Iron deposits. So it says there's some dust of the scourge here as well. Alright, so we'll head here. Oh, look at the solar flares on the sun. Oh, this thing's been scorched. One ninety-eight Celsius. Look at that. Lava, maybe, possibly. Definitely has been hit by some asteroids. All right, one more planet to go, and then we're on to Eos. Seven hundred and eighty one degrees Celsius. Scorching conditions, I would say scorching. Where is the sun located? Man, look how close that is to that sun. I wish we could look at the suns though. Actually it's not that close technically. But it's just right in that pocket, I guess. Alright, well, last up is going to be heading to Eos, and we're gonna be Hopefully having a lot of fun on this planet. There's a lot of things to do. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and head there now. But we won't land just yet. We'll land in the next video. And then we'll 
have fun exploring the planet and uh, trying to start creating a new home for us. Hundred percent. Signal on Habitat Seven. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is so, like Habitat Seven, no doubt we'll run into the cat. So here's something I want to note. Like if we go and look, look how close this is to the sun. This is way closer to the sun than that other planet was. But it's only 19 degrees Celsius. So this is like that's why. There were these select planets that were around the temperatures that we have been used to. Um, so I can understand it. But you can also see that we have two side, one side objective here, which is uh, first murder. There's different minerals that you can find. Um, as far as anything else, there's nothing else to scan. And there's the landing zone where we're going to be landing in the next video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on EOS. Peace out, bitches.